prophecy for November 8 to November 14 is cut off season. First, let us enter the protocol. Holy Father, here I am before you with your people. You are seated on your throne and the four living creatures surround you. Before your throne are the seven spirits of God. On your right hand, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is seated on his throne. With him are the seven archangels. On your left hand, the Holy Spirit is seated on his throne. With the Holy Spirit are the nine spirits' gifts and the nine spirits' fruits. The twenty-four elders are seated, twelve on your right hand and twelve on your left hand. Holy Father, I must say, you are sovereign and you are almighty. When I was receiving your prophecy, you said to me that you will cut off both head and tail. And you sent me so to Isaiah 9, verse 14 and 15. So the Lord will cut off from Israel both head and tail both palm branch and reed in a single day. So, we have a prophecy talking about head and tail cut off. But you said, preach about it today and tell my people that the season of cut off has started my god my god and you said to me last week you preach about the serpent and you said this is a good time for us to cut off the head of the serpent my god my god the head of the enemy the devil. My God, my God. Yes, you said the Lord, you will cut off head and tail, both palm branch and reed in a single day. And you identify the head and you identify the tail. The elders and the dignitaries are the head. My God, my God. The elders, you know, of the church, the dignitaries, you know, we see the dignitaries, the people in government, the people who are receiving adulation out there, the, the people in high standing could be businessmen, businesswomen, influential people, you said you will cut them off. And my question to you, Holy Father, what do you mean by that? And you express that many of them will be no more. And I remember back in 2010, when you preach about the purge, how you're going to change the landscape of the church especially in the United States, and how we see how you are able, you know, a lot of influential people in the church, and they are no more. And I'm saying, Holy Father, is it what is going on that you are going to do in society right now? So, you said, the dignitaries and the elders, they are the head. But the prophets who teach lies are the tail. 
you you have to imagine an animal with the head you cut the head an animal with a tail you cut the tail and what is left is the middle part and we know without the head without the tail the middle part will decay the middle part will be destroyed my god my god and in verse 16 this is where you explain those who guide these people that's mean these people they are in in a leadership position you said those who guide my people misled them my god my god that's me these are the people in in a leadership position and you said and those who are guided are led astray but what you want me to emphasize right now is a special season a special season that we are entering right now a season of cut off a season of cut off and you said do not think that this season of cut off it's all about those corrupt leaders those are then rebel those liars it is it is also about the church especially us who are saying that we are christian that we believe in christ and we are living in a way that is different from christ we could be cut off like last week when we were preaching about the three serpentine spirits if we allow ourselves to be deceived we will be destroyed in 2021 the same way if we we become rebel liars corrupt and allow ourselves to be led astray you said we also will be cut off and i can see that we are living in a period of judgment and you sent me to isaiah 19 in isaiah 19 verse 12 let's read this part Isaiah 19 let's go to verse 12 and this is a question that you said to Isaiah to ask the people at that time and this is the same question that you have for us where are your wise men now let them show you and make known what the Lord has planned against Egypt yes when we become like like Egypt you know the place of bondage where we oppress people we abuse people guess what we will receive the same type of prophecy a prophecy of judgment let, let's go back now to verse 1. See the Lord rides on a swift cloud and is coming to Egypt. The idol of Egypt tremble before him and the hearts of the Egyptians melt with fear. 
we are in a season what we see. The coronavirus plague, like in the time of the Egyptian, we see people are in fear. Even I find myself, if I left the house without my mask, I'm a few miles away. The other day, I said, I must go back. I must go back to get my mask. I know this is the way not only to protect myself, but to protect other people. And I see people brazenly. You know, they want to be around people. And they don't have any mask on. When you know there is a plague out there. And I can tell they are not Christian. They are not safe people. They are not, you know, they think. They, they, you know, they can survive it. <laughs> but many people, you know, they are very fearful. They don't want this plague to hit their family and their close ones. And a part that is extraordinary, verse 3, the Egyptians lo will lose heart, and I will bring their plans to nothing. They will, they will consult the idols, the spirits of the dead, the mediums, the spiritists. I will hand the Egyptians over to the power of a cruel master and a fierce king will rule over them. And we see that. A fierce king who has no pity for you. You know, he's ruling over you. And totally don't care if you live or if you die. That will not have a plan to save you from the coronavirus. Do not have a plan to save you from your problem. Yes. We want to elect him. We want him to rule over us. Because he dressed nice. He look nice. He's a strong man. But what about God rule over you? What about Jesus rule over you? And you see prophets lying on his behalf and saying, this man is sent by God. My brothers, my sisters, like I said to my partners, there is a spirit of deception that, that is all over the world right now. And I said to my partners, from, the, from November 1st to November 15th, do not fall for the spirit of deceit. He wants to deceive you. He wants to make you believe that he will be the one to help you. Look at last week in the Sabbath message. Eve traded his, her life because the serpent tell her to do so. When God told her, when God told Adam, if you eat of it, you will die. Both of them decided to trade their lives. Because I'm not blaming Eve. Both of them decided because after afterwards Adam ate of the fruit and this is how right now on earth we have death death entered the earth totally altered their DNA and now they are subject to death and in my meditation I said God how can somebody trade his life? His life because the devil tell them to do so. And we see that in society. 
People going around and said, I will go to that meeting, I will not wear a mask because a leader tell me to do so. How can you treat your life? And we see so many people die because they, they went to the meeting. And I heard a report, 700 people died by following because we search after idols. We search after idols. We want to elevate people above God. And we are willing to trade our lives for this person. My brothers, my sisters, the Lord is saying unto us, if you do not want to be cut off, you must not follow the devil advice. Eve, follow the devil advice. And look at her now. She is in the grave. Let us follow God. Because God said the plan that he has for us is a plan to do us good, to save us, and to protect us. Holy Father, I have given to your people your word. I said to them, the season of cut off has started. If they do not want to be cut off, cut off from what? Cut off from your blessing, cut off from your protection. They must. Hallelujah. Follow your son, Jesus Christ, who is their savior. Do not look on a, for another savior. Jesus is the savior of the world. And us at Lord Jesus house of prayer, we do not want to be among the false prophet that you will cut off. Therefore, we declare that this house is Lord Jesus' house. I pray, O oh God, that you have mercy upon the people and you send them the solution and the cure for this virus that is out there. Bless the sick. Bless the afflicted. Bless those who are in mourning. We will give you the praise. We will give you the glory, O oh Lord, when we are at peace and at rest. And this disease is no longer among us. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.